Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is part three of my series on utilizing Blender as a video editor. Now if you have any questions about how we got to this point, please refer to the previous videos. What we're going to talk about in this video is how to grab and move the actual files that we've actually imported and how to cut them up. So let's get started by going down here. And the way that you actually grab and move a video and audio file is you right click on the file and you hit the G button. And once you do that, you can grab it and move it. Now, I generally wouldn't want to do what I'm doing right here because I'm moving an audio file away from the analogous video file. And I want to keep them in sync. So I really want to move them both at the same time. So I need to be able to actually select both of them. So I need to right click on the audio channel, hit my shift button, which basically allows me to group to to select multiple items and I'll right click on my video file and I can see they're both highlighted now and I hit my G button for grab and now I can move it. So that's how you actually move source files within your timeline. And then I place it with my left mouse button. There we go. Now, you probably want to cut this up. That's the whole point of bringing it into a video editor is if I have a large stream uh, there's parts that I don't want and there's parts that I do want. I want to be able to edit it down. So you need to know that there are two different types of cuts. There is what they call a soft cut and there is what they call a hard cut. Now you can see the options for cutting if you go down to this menu down here for strip and it will actually have two options cut soft at frame and cut hard at frame. The shortcuts are K for soft cut and shift K for a hard cut. Now the difference between a soft cut and a hard cut is when you actually hard cut a f video or audio file, you're basically separating them out into two different components. And they're, they don't have the data of each other anymore. So basically, I only have, if I put an actual hard cut here, it will separate them into two different files. If I do a soft cut, what it's basically doing is it's cutting it, but each of the sides of the cut will actually still have all the data of the complete file. So you can make adjustments later. So for example, let's, let's try this out. So I'm going to do a, a soft cut by hitting K at this frame right here by highlighting over it. I'm at frame 1489, as you can see down here. And that actually is going to cut it. Now I had them both selected. If I didn't select them both, it wouldn't have cut them both. It would just have cut one. But it, it actually maintained the selection after I did the move. Uh, so I'm going to actually select both of these by right-clicking and holding Shift over both of them and hitting Grab. And I'll pull them apart. You'll see there's a little remnant, this little green here and this little blue under there. It basically says, hey, these are separated out and they're kind of muted at that point. But they're not being utilized. So if I actually go over it, nothing's there, and it continues there. There you go. Now, if I actually grab these with G, sorry, grab them with Shift G, and I move them up, you'll notice that that trail is still there in front. Isn't that interesting? That means that basically it still has all of the data of the cut area. And if I wanted to, I actually could extend and, sh and alter the video here. It's still there. It's still available for me to actually utilize if I want to adjust it later. So even if I place this here and then I move both of these, let's grab these. What am I doing there? And I move these here. You'll see I can still see the video because I extended it. I'm going to bring that back to here. So basically, it just gives you the option of being able to readjust it later. Now, if you really know that you're not going to ever need to readjust it, you can do a hard cut. Let's go Control Z. We're going to go back to the state before we actually cut it by hitting Control Z continuously until it gets back to that. And all you can, you can see they're both selected again. So I'll select them. There we go. Uh, now we're going to do an actual hard cut by doing Shift K. Boom, like that. Now you'll notice when I actually grab these two files, G, 
and I pull them, there's no trail behind. So they're, they're completely separated. And if I move this up to this channel up here, I can't adjust these anymore. So really, you have to ask yourself, do I want to be able to adjust my cuts later? Um, or am I pretty uh, confident that my cuts are, are, are good? It's really up to you. So uh, that's really how the cuts work on Blender. Uh, feel free to try them out and see which one you like. And that should be all that we need to talk about in this video.